one pig. Boys and girls, we're going to look at one pig. Singular means one. Say it with me. Singular means one. Plural means more than one. Pigs. Boys and girls, do you see more than one pig? That means it's plural. Plural means more than one. Say it with me. Plural means more than one. Singular means one. Say it with me. Singular means one. Zebra. And here is one zebra. <laughs> Plural means more than one. Boys and girls, say it with me. Plural means more than one. Most nouns form the plural by adding a S. By adding a S to the end of zebra makes the word zebras, which is plural. <laughs> Dolphin. Dolphins. Sea lion. Sea lions. Horses. Dog. Dogs. <laughs> Duck. <laughs> Duck. Kangaroo. Kangaroos. Flamingo. Flamingos. <laughs> Elephant. <laughs> Elephants. Gorilla. Gorillas. 
Bird. Birds. Turkey. Turkeys. Boys and girls, the plural for sheep is the same word for the singular. Some nouns have the same form in the singular and plural. And sheep is one of those words. Sheep. As you can see, fish is also singular. This is another noun that has the same form in the singular and plural. Fish. Rabbit. Rabbits. Whale. Whales. The word dogs means two or more. 
girl. Now, boys and girls, I'm just going to read the word that is in red. Puppy. Dogs Kitten Kittens Rat Rats Boys and girls, the word fish also means plural. Boys and girls, I'm going to introduce you to words that are antonyms. Front. This is the front of a gorilla. And the opposite of front is back. Here is the back of the gorilla. Back. 
asleep. The cute koala is asleep. And the opposite is awake. Now our cute little koala is awake. Playing. The adorable kittens are playing. The opposite of playing is fighting. Here, the two tortoises are fighting. I wonder who's going to win this match. House cat. A house cat is considered cute and sweet. The opposite is a wild cat. A wild cat is considered extremely dangerous. Nice. A sheep is considered a nice animal. Ah! The opposite of nice is mean. A hyena is considered mean and aggressive. Cute. A Bambi deer is cute. The opposite of cute is ugly. A warthog is considered ugly, but I think he's kind of cute. Little. Here is a little dog. And the opposite is big. And here is a big dog. Left. This tortoise is walking toward the left. And the opposite of left is right. And this tortoise is walking toward the right. Out. The swan is out of the water. The opposite is in. And this swan is in the water. Fake. This is a fake parrot. And the opposite of fake is real. And here is a real parrot. Front. Can you see the front of the parrot? The opposite of front is back. Can you see the back of the parrot? On. Here are two goat kids on a wooden bench. The goats are head butting each other. This is normal for goats. The 
opposite for on is off. Now one of the goats is off the bench and returning to get on the bench. The goat gets off and then he gets on. So the opposite of on is off. Here you see one of the goats off the bench. Remember, the opposite of off is on. And here they are again, on the bench, butting heads. In front. You see, the parrot <laughs> is in front of his cage. <laughs> in front, guess what, is the opposite of behind. <laughs> Here he is, <laughs> behind his cage. In. An alligator is in the water. In is the opposite to out. These alligators are out of the water. Young. A young cat loves to play. The opposite of young is old. This is an old cat. Many. There are many hens in this picture. The opposite of many are few. Now you see a few hens. Over. The hen is over the wooden stump. The opposite of over is under. Here, the rabbits are under the wooden stump. Hi, boys and girls. Are you ready to have some fun learning about prepositions? Well, my sister's adorable dog, Bella, is going to help me and also some other amazing animals. Boys and girls, the words in red are prepositions. They are used with a noun to show place or position. So here I am standing beside the swing. Bella is beside the box. Here I am on the swing. And here Bella is on the the box. I'm under the swing and Bella is under the box. Here I am underneath the blue pole and look at Bella is underneath her play towel. Now I am between the two blue poles. This gigantic hot pink soccer ball is between the horse and the man. Look at me sitting on the bench. And look at this adorable parrot on top of the lady's head. 
You don't see this very often, do you, boys and girls? Now, I'm next to the bench. And the horse is next to the hot pink soccer ball. Next, I'm over the bench. And the horse is over the hot pink soccer ball. Here I am sitting on the bench. And boys and girls, here's the cutest bunny rabbit you could ever see on the skateboard. Can you believe it? I'm under the bench. Hi, boys and girls. <laughs> and here's something amazing, boys and girls. A huge white polar bear swimming under the water. I'm beside the fake polar bear, boys and girls, so you can see how big that polar bear was in the water. Here I am beside the rodent. The rodent here is the largest rodent in the world, boys and girls. A rodent is like a rat. I am above the swing. And the huge polar bear's head is above the water. Check this out, boys and girls. The rest of his body is below the water. Below is a preposition too. And his head is above the water. Bella is inside the box chasing her tail, boys and girls. Boys and girls, look at the geese swimming inside the water. Prepositions. Boys and girls, my position is on the bench. Now my position is beside the bench. Now here I'm going to try to get in the position of being under the bench. And this is hard. And here I am standing between these two black things. Here I am in front of a big carousel. Now I'm behind a little carousel. At last, I'm in the position of being on a little horse. Now, boys and girls, I want to show you the positions of different animals so you can understand prepositions. The baby flamingo is beside its mother. The baby flamingo is under its mother. The red macaw is beside the other macaw. The red macaw is behind the branches. The geckos are under the rock. The zebras are beside each other. The fawn is in front of its feeder. One chimpanzee is behind the first chimpanzee. The koala is on the branch. The baby hippopotamus is beside its mother. The baby hippopotamus is between its mother and father. The donkey is under the tree. The badger is behind the branch. The badger is on his back 
under the branch. The badger is walking in front of the rock. The jaguars are sleeping on the rock. The wolf is behind the bushes. I'm going to teach you the location of different animals. Here, boys and girls, is the cutest baby donkey you'll ever see. He's right beside a silver can. Where is the baby donkey, boys and girls? Yes, beside the silver can. Where is the lorikeet? On the railing. Where's the puffer swimming? In the water. Where is the seahorse sitting? On the edge of the rock. Boys and girls, from where you are looking, where is the hen? In front of the goat, yeah! Where is the fish? Under the rock. Where is the barn owl? inside its house sleeping. Here's another barn owl. Where is he? Behind bars or inside a cave? Where is the cow's head? Between the red bars. Great job, you guys! Where is the brown sheep? Behind the tan sheep. Where is the hippopotamus? Under the water. Where is the goat? On the log. Where is the second shark? Yes, behind the first shark. Where is the rabbit? beside the log. Now, boys and girls, from this direction, where is the rabbit? Yes, in front of the log. Now, boys and girls, where is this adorable little rabbit? Between the wood. Great job, boys and girls. Where is the little blue fish inside the shell. Where is the brown hen? On the rail. Where is the armadillo? In the water. Where are the two sheep? Beside each other. Good job. Boys and girls, watch the hen walk in front of the rabbit. Where is the hen, boys and girls? Yes, in front of the rabbit. Where is the baby zebra? Beside its mother. Now where is the baby zebra? in front of the mother. Boys and girls, where are their heads? In the feet are eating. Yum, yum. Boys and girls, this is a sloth. Where is the sloth sleeping? Between the branches of a tree. Where is the small starfish? Beside the large starfish. Boys and girls, look carefully at the turtles. Where is the top turtle? 
over the bottom turtle. Where is the hermit crab? Under the rope. Where's the burrow? In front of the horse. Where is the baby giraffe? Beside its mother. Where are the two zebras? Yes, beside each other. Where is the small toad? On top of the big toad. <laughs> Where is the black rabbit? Under the thatched roof. Where is the polar bear swimming? In the water. Where is the baby goat? Under its mother nursing. Where is the monkey sitting? On the rail. In relationship to the rail, boys and girls, where is the monkey now? Correct! Under the rail. Prepositions are words that help you find where something is located. Now, boys and girls, I want you to read it with me. Prepositions are words that help you find where something is located. I'm going to teach you the location of different animals. Here, boys and girls, is the cutest baby donkey you'll ever see. He's right beside a can. Where's the baby donkey, boys and girls? Read with me. The baby donkey is beside the can. Great job. Where is the lorikeet? The lorikeet is on the railing. Where is the puffer swimming? The puffer is swimming in the water. Where is the seahorse sitting? The seahorse is sitting on the edge of the rock. Boys and girls, from where you are looking, where is the hen? The hen is in front of the goat. Where is the fish? The fish is under the rock. Where is the barn owl? The barn owl is inside his house asleep. Here's another barn owl. Where is he? The barn owl is behind bars or inside a cage. Where is the cow's head? The cow's head is between the two red bars. Where is the brown sheep? The brown sheep is behind the tan sheep. Where is the hippopotamus? The hippopotamus is under the water. Where is the goat? The goat is on the log. Where is the second shark? The second shark is behind the first shark. Where is the rabbit? The rabbit is beside the log. Now, boys and girls, from this direction, where is the rabbit? The rabbit is in front of the log. Where is this rabbit? The rabbit is between the wood. Yahoo! Great job, boys and girls. Where is the little blue fish? The little blue fish is inside the shell. Where is the brown hen? The brown hen is on the rail. Where is the armadillo? The armadillo is in the water. Where are the two sheep? The two sheep are beside each other. Boys and girls, Watch the hen walk in front of the rabbit. Where is the hen, boys and girls? The hen is in front of the rabbit. 
Where is the baby zebra? The baby zebra is beside its mother. Now, boys and girls, where is the baby zebra? The baby zebra is in front of its mother. Where are their heads? Their heads are in the feeder eating. Where is the sloth? The sloth is between the branches in a tree. Where is the small starfish? The small starfish is beside the large starfish. Boys and girls, look carefully at the turtles. Where is the top turtle? The turtle is over the other turtle. Where is the hermit crab? The hermit crab is under the rope. Where is the burrow? The burrow is in front of the white horse. Where is the baby giraffe? The baby giraffe is beside its mother. Where are the two zebras? The two zebras are beside each other. Where is the small toad? The small toad is on the big toad. <laughs> Where is the black rabbit? The black rabbit is under the thatched roof. Where is the polar bear? The polar bear is swimming in the water. Where is the baby goat? The baby goat is under its mother nursing. Where is the monkey? The monkey is on the rail. In relationship to the rail, boys and girls, where is the monkey now? The monkey is under the rail. Boys and girls, here I am beside Smokey the Bear. Boys and girls, join me singing a song about beside, behind, in front of, and between. Where is the calf? Beside the other calf. Beside. Beside. Where is the cow? Behind the former. Where is the lamb? Behind its mother. Where is the cat? Behind its mother. Where is the cat? In front of its mother. Where is the piglet? In front of its mother. Where is the ball? In front of the piglets. Where is the ball? Between the piglets. Where is the cow between the doors? Where is the pig between the doors? Boys and girls, sing along with me! Beside, beside, beside! Behind, behind, behind! In front of, in front of! In front of, between, 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 beside, behind, in front of, between, beside, behind, in front of, between.
dog show and teach you about adjectives. At the dog show, I'm going to show you some of the best looking dogs in the world. Many of the dogs are champions. Adjectives are words that describe a noun. A noun is a name of a person, place, thing, or animal. Now, boys and girls, I want you to read this with me. Here we go. Adjectives are words that describe a noun. A noun is the name of a person, place, thing, or animal. Here is an adorable animal. A dog is an animal. Some of the adjectives that describe this dog are adorable, fluffy, and white. Boys and girls, if I said, look at the dog, does that sound exciting or does it sound kind of boring? But if I said, 
Look at the cute little dog. Does that make you want to listen? I just added a few adjectives. The words cute and little. The cute little dog is getting ready to be judged at the dog show. Its owner is brushing its long white, brown, and gold fur. The adjectives long, white, brown, gold are describing the dog's fur. And here is our cute little dog who is hopefully a future champion dog. Boys and girls, the adjectives that describe this poodle are big, friendly, white, fluffy, and Awesome! Look at him! What an awesome dog! Boys and girls, there are so many adjectives to describe the dogs I'm going to show you. So I'm just going to say a few adjectives for each dog. This cute, small, chocolate brown poodle is being groomed and ready to walk the carpet. Adjectives are cute, small, and chocolate brown. The adjectives that describe this dog are large, tan, amazing, long hair. This is probably the youngest dog at the dog show. The adjectives are young white, puppy, fluffy, and cute. The adjectives that describe this dog are tiny, black, active, and sweet. The adjectives are small, strong, stout, and brave for this dog. Huge, shaggy, loving, gray, and white are the adjectives that describe this dog. The English Sheepdog has huge paws. Boys and girls, do you see the words in yellow? Those are the adjectives. English sheep describes the dog and huge describes his paws. Here is his big shaggy brother. Big shaggy describes brother. And here is their cousin with a shaggy white face. Shaggy white are adjectives that describe his face. And we can't forget kind, sweet mother. The adjectives are kind, sweet, and they describe mother. The large white poodle is wearing a pretty blue collar. The adjectives are large, white, describes the word poodle, and pretty blue describes the color. Next is a black male poodle. Boys and girls, here's a way to check if a word is an adjective. Remember an adjective describes the word. Black poodle, male poodle. Do those describe the poodle? Yes, they do. The poodle you can see is black, and you can tell the poodle is a male. This big black dog has a large pink tongue. Big black 
describe dog. Big dog, black dog, and large pink describe tongue. Large tongue, pink tongue. So what are the adjectives, boys and girls? Big, black, large, and pink. Good job. This dog has long legs. Long describes legs. And a long nose. Long describes nose. Here is a black dog with long ears. Black describes dog and long describes ears. Look at the two cute puppies. Two describes puppies. Cute describes puppies. So the words two and cute are the adjectives. Walking down the runway is a cute dog with short legs. The adjectives are cute describes dog, short describes legs. Check out my English language arts and math book with DVDs. Take a rest this break lesson is called and Days let me encourage week. and teach your position. child or children like we are in a classroom. Just put in the DVD and select a lesson from the table of contents and off we go. English language arts and math books are generic. They can be used for first through third grade. All three learning styles are used so no child is left out.